Hi guys, this is Zach from Watches on You, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the IWC Big Pilot with the black dial. So, now this is probably IWC's most iconic watch and most popular watch, as this is really harkens back to their heritage. So, the reason that IWC makes this watch is because it, during World War II, for the Luftwaffe, they made pilots' watches for them, and they made this big pilot in order to harken back to those times. And actually, we reviewed one of uh, the Luftwaffe's original watches from World War II, not by IWC, but we'll leave a link in the description to that video if you want to see that as well. But going back to this watch, so this watch has a great history as IWC was one of the major, major manufacturers of pilot watches during World War II, and one of the main designs was this beer design, and it has really become one of the most popular watch designs ever. And you can definitely see why. It has a very nice, clean look, and it looks very sporty, militaristic, and utilitarian, kind of all at the same time. And that's why it's just really become so popular, and it's great. But now, going on to why they call it the Big Pilot. So, the reason they call it the Big Pilot is the pilot's watches that they made were very, very large in order to just to be able to read it quickly. Now, they're actually quite a bit larger than this, almost really kind of around 55 millimeters, but this one is 46.2 millimeters instead to make it wearable. As, I mean, if the other ones, if you see them, they are absolutely ginormous, and you would really never want want to wear one in public. So the 46.2 millimeter says is still very large for a watch, but it's definitely more wearable than a 55. Now the watch is also 15.6 millimeters thick. And that is very, very thick for a watch, but, I mean, as this is a pilot's watch, you're not really going to be wearing this too much as a dress watch, so that thickness is fine, as it's going to be just worn as a sports watch, most likely. Now, it does have a nice stainless steel case, and that's mainly brushed, but you have a nice polished bevel right there, as you can see, and it's finished very, very well. It looks absolutely incredible. I really, really like it. So, now I'm going to move on to the dial. So, as I said, this is the beer dial, and it's very, very clean. You can see the nice white numerals going around, and you can see on this sub-dial here, it says days, and then it goes counts up to seven. That's because this watch actually is a dual-barreled movement, giving it a power reserve of seven days, which is absolutely fantastic. So that means you can go a whole week without ever wearing this watch as long as it was fully wound at the beginning. And that's a great feature because, say, if you're traveling someplace and you don't want to bring your nice expensive wristwatch, you can leave it at home and it will probably still be running by the time you get back. So that's a great feature for this piece. And another thing having to do with travel is that this watch is extremely easy to set. Because since it has such a big crown here, I mean, that minute hand, it'll just fly. I mean, look at that. You can just, if you change time zones, boom, I'm already there. I already went past, actually. Boom. There again. Boom. Boom. Just very, very easy to reset. And that's a great feature of this watch as well. So now I'm going to move on to a wrist shot. So it has a IWC deploying clasp, and they're deploying clasps. I mean, they're second to none. I really like how they do them. I love how they're finished so well, because I love this bezel bevel right here. A lot of watches just kind of make an okay-looking deploying clasp for the watches, but the IWC really finishes it just like the watch, and I really like that. So... This watch, being 46 millimeters, is quite large. So I have a 7 inch wrist, and that's above average, and you can see it still is quite big on my wrist. Now, I'm not a huge fan of watches of this size, but I know many, many people are, and the being that this is such an iconic piece, I'd say that this is the best larger sized watch out there just for the history of it and the quality. I mean, the quality is absolutely fantastic on this piece. It has an in-house IWC caliber as well, adding to that quality. Specifically, the movement number is the 52110, and that's automatic self-winding, and as I said, 7-day power reserve, so it's great. Fully in-house finished it very very well even though it does not have a clear case back which is a bit of a shame but actually if they want to keep true to the history it's good that they don't have that so I think if they did make a clear case back people wouldn't take it too nicely as the original didn't and they I think people would really want them to stick to the original so it's good that they actually left it as that 
But now one other thing I didn't mention is it has a sapphire crystal with a anti-reflective coating both on the inside and out, and you can definitely see that as it's really not reflecting that much unless it's directly in the light, and that's a very, very nice as sapphire is very, very reflective if it does not have any sort of coating on it. So Overall, this watch is available here at JB Hudson Jewelers, an IWC retailer, for $12,900. Now, that price is a lot. So, on, on, if it were me, I would not buy this watch brand new. I would try to find a pre-owned, as you can get some good deals on those. Um, I think $12,900 is quite a lot for this piece, even with the history and stuff, as this really doesn't have any complications besides the power reserve. So, I don't really know if it's um, worth that price. is quite justified, but it is a very, very high quality piece, and it does have a lot of history. So, if you want, if you would like a new model, that's the price. It's available here at JB Hudson. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.